And one more stone.
is the new Libertalia, eh? Stinks the same as every other squat I've robbed this past year. Oi, oi. Why the long face? You fallen in love? <laughs> With your blouse. You're welcome to Nassau, gents. Everyone is that does their fair share. Fair share? What is this, a fucking monastery? Um, we was uh, led to believe that Nassau was a place where men did as they pleased. Safe keeping others from doing the same. Aye. Captain Thatch, as I live and breathe. What is this magnificent muzzle you cultivate in it? Why fly a black flag when a black beard will do? What brings you two gents this far north? The word is, Cuban governor himself is fixing to receive a mess of gold from a nearby fort. Until then, it's just sitting there, itching to be took. Governor Torres himself, eh? Sounds promising. Welcome to Nassau, Captain Vane. Mr. Rackham. Uh, now, uh, where can a man find a bit of rough? Do you know what I mean? you do with your share of the gold we take from Governor Torres? Return to Africa, prince among men. I cannot return to a place I've never been. I was born in Trinidad, a slave from my first breath. Ah. Well, wouldn't you feel, I don't know, more welcome there? As you might feel more welcome in Paris. Fair point. <laughs> with this skin and this voice, where can I go in the world and feel at ease? This country here is my best chance. This country called Jackdaw, where I know the names of all citizens and they know mine, and we work together. 
Not always out of love, but to keep our country afloat. I understand thee. Let's take her then. To the citizens of Jackdaw!
Well, hello, Your Excellency. I'd got word you might be here. I know your face, pirate. But your name was borrowed the last time we spoke. Ah, uh, yes, I recall. Mr. Duncan Walpole. I missed that one. So, what's a Templar Grand Master doing so far from his Castillo? I'd rather not say. And I'd rather not cut your lips off and feed them to you. Two years ago, we offered a reward for the Sage's recapture. Today, someone claims to have found him. This gold is his ransom. Who found him? A slaver by the name of Lawrence Prince. He lives in Kingston. We like this story, Torres. And we want to help you finish it. But we're going to do it our way. Using you... and your gold. Maybe we save the king some coin and simply cut you down, maggot. Only my cold dead torpo will ever come with you, cut. Grazie. My thanks. I'm your man now, Capitano. Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Ken, will you run this scheme alone, at the risk of losing the faith of your crew? It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slave. Come on, mate. Once we have the Sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young Master Kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward, what the hell are you doing here? I'm taming these men to the Sage. And you hold off till he appears. The Sage is here. All right, Jesus. I'll stay in my belief for a time, not long.
How long has it been since our last meeting, Senor Prince? A year? Near 18 months. You first described this robber fellow to me in November of 1715. Much has changed in that short time, you know. An uncalled me government, for instance, for I quit that post last year. Ah, I was not aware. You couldn't help it, could you, Kim? Sticking your nose into things you can't understand. It's making me nervous, kid. Keep your blades corked. Just my brother. The English have lost Two major targets. And I'm kept you killing them both. Ah! Steady, kid. We're close. Them. Don't worry. God knows, Taurus. There's none here so foolish as that. Foolish? How do you mean? Is it not a sin to enslave a fellow Christian? Therefore, to transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to fighting one battle to the king of the king. How far are you? We are nearly there. Thinking, feeling men deserve respect and opportunity. Ah, oh, you Spaniards! Your long ties to the Moors have diluted your blood and softened your hearts. This is not to say I believe in the natural equality of all races or sexes. Surely men with talent and intelligence should lead. But there is no true profit to be gained by the practice of slavery. In the short term, it makes us money, see. But in the long term, it will render us the victims of our own success. Ah, but you and I, sir, old as we are, will not live to see that unfortunate day. So why bother? Chattering about slaves and their pitiable condition. Let us conclude this transaction, then celebrate their friends. Other stories about you, Prussia. You were a governor in Florida for a time. See, si, see. Si. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family, a long line of politicians. I have always toyed with the idea of entering politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not enough years. Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one and a tremendous waste of coin and resources. Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. 
That skirmish was a deadly one, and a tremendous waste of coin and resources. It wasn't until many years after that I sheared my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources, that's where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, honor bought is more enjoyable than honor won, if a touch less permanent. We grow tired of this war. We must be close. Other stories about you, Trusha. You were a governor in Florida for a time. See, si, see. Si. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family, a long line of politicians. I have always toyed with the idea of entering politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not enough years. Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forced and one on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one, and a tremendous waste of coin and resources. It wasn't until many years after that I sheared my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources, that's where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, honor bought is more enjoyable than honor won, if we touch less permanent. You say you came alone, Paris? Not alone, but certainly without colleagues. I took passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Ah. Now's the time! Oh. Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again, what has this Roberts fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not followed! Deal with this! You cocked up my kill, Kenway! For a better cause! No! Jim, stop! Not this time, Kenway! 
Silver! Come on, man! We can work this together! You have your chance. Stay your blade, kid! Wait! Jim, stop! Damn you, old strat! Keep your natty hands off me! I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves, and here I find not one but two of my targets, and you robbed me of both. Patience, man. You have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take Prince. Got that!